Hello guys, Survival Scout here and today we're gonna analyze the survival story of Stephen Callahan. He departed the El Hierro in the Canary Islands on January 29, 1982. After some time in the sea, something hold his boat, an unknown object, but Stephen Callahan claims in his own book that a whale they made the destruction on the boat. The boat was filling water really really fast so he tried to grab some items and he actually managed to get to get a piece of cushion, a sleeping bag and an emergency, an emergency survival kit containing some things like food, navigation charts, a short spear gun, flares, solar steels, torch and many other things for producing water and a copy of sea survival. After he found himself in the sea, he had to do something to survive. So he was made to eat a lot of lot of fish, uh, mainly mahi mahi, also known as trigger fish, and he ate very great amount of that fish. He managed to collect some drinking water from two solar steels and various containers for collecting water from the rain. He tried to be found by doing several signs, survival signs, but his efforts weren't enough to save him. While the April 20th, 1982 was dawning, Stephen Callahan has spotted some lights on the island of Mary Galante, southeast of Guadalupe. The next day, the 76th day that he was in the sea, some fishermen picked him up just off shore. During his experience in that sea, he faced sharks, many many health issues, dehydration, mental stress, and generally he lost a third of his weight, and after he rescued he was transferred to a local hospital, and it took him several weeks on this island to recover his health and all of his energy and courage. Now obviously you can pretty much say what was Callahan's mistake. If you are in the sea for 76 days someone will look for you if you have told to someone where are you going. So for one more time similar to our previous survival situation with Aaron Ralston, Stephen Callahan hasn't said a thing to anyone. For where he was going. In contrary with Aaron Ralston, Stephen has managed to pick up some pieces of equipment and he had more options for food and water in the sea. He managed to collect some rainwater and eat some fish, but he had to face other dangers like sharks and the other elements of the sea. So guys, that was the survival story of Stephen Callahan. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned till this Monday with a brand new video on this channel. This